Hi, in this video, I'm going to be covering three free AI tools to try in 2022. I've been some Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. So, the very first tool I'm going to show you is a AI logo maker. And the reason why I love these is because I, I'm, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really, really, really tired of using freelancers to create a logo that looks really, really poorly. And it's just, they're just delayed and it just costs a lot of money. So uh, I like to use AI tools. And for this, you can just go ahead and use this Zyro logo maker. It's an AI logo maker. You can go ahead and sign up or start for free. You just click on create your logo. All right. And then from here, you can create a logo yourself or use an AI logo generator. I prefer the AI logo generator. So. Go ahead and click this. They'll give you, uh, there'll be three steps that you're gonna need to do in order to create a unique logo. Click on continue. And since it's a web-based tool, um, you don't have to install anything. All right, so here's a logo picker. You can uh, pick different logos. I, I like this one, all right. And if you don't like this one, you can click spacebar to load new logos. So. Uh, Let's try maybe this one. And press continue. And then you get to pick a color. So maybe uh, maybe this one. And continue. And then you pick the shape. Uh, maybe this one here. All right. And after you um, you're done, you just click on. You can either customize it further by open in Logo Maker, or generate a new logo, all right? And it's it's that easy. So, I would highly recommend anyone who's interested in wanting to create a kind of logo and don't want to even spend five bucks because it's just not worth it. Actually, it's seven on Fiverr now because they they charge you this hidden service fee. Uh, this is probably what they use anyway, all right? So I would highly recommend you use this one. Uh, next would be the Zyro AI content generation tool. So I, I love content generation tools because I hate generating content. Um, it just takes a lot of time. So, and I, I really hate using freelancers too. <laughs> so uh, this is perfect. This is a perfect tool for my needs. Uh, what you do is you create, you um, select a category. I like sustainability, click on continue. And then you can go more specific. I like farm. You got furniture, you got fashion, beauty. I like farm. Click on continue. And then you have the content ready right here, right? pre-written for you. And they have different results. So here's the first one, result one. We're constantly testing and refining what we do. And there are some real issues that need addressing both environmentally and socially, but at the same time, with all the growth in agriculture, it's a challenge for us to keep up with demand. So even though organic farming has become the quite pop popular recently just because of consumer interest and also more research available, farmers may still be getting less money from consumers. All right, so um, I'm going to copy this, and I'm just going to go into Grammarly Premium just to, just to give you an idea of the quality of writing, right? So instead of me saying, oh, I think it's good, I think it's bad, I'm going to have a third AI kind of grade in AI content. That way you can kind of feel, you can kind of judge for yourself somewhat objectively. All right, I'm going to leave this pre, pre, presets. And now it's overall score is quite high, 91 overall score. Uh, it got two maybe alert, grammar alerts. It's mostly clear, engaging. Delivery is just right. Style is all good, and then plagiarism is the most important one. Let's see, one of the one of the important factors. So let's go check to see how unique it is, and it's wow, it scored pretty high on a uniqueness score. So it's about um, a ninety, my ninety two percent unique. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Let me get out of this. So ninety two percent unique, and you have different um, results all throughout here that you can use so i mean i i think this con this uh, free content tool runs uh, it's a bit limited and restricted in what it can write but whatever it writes is pretty pretty decent quality considering that it's free as well so i'll leave a link down below so you can check that out as well 
And then the last tool I like to introduce is the AI background remover. So what you would do is you would take an image and upload it here. Let me go ahead and find one real quick. Okay, so I found an image. I'm just going to go ahead and upload it. Oh, I guess it didn't didn't load. Let me let me go find another one real quick. Uh, let's see. All right, let me try. Maybe not this one. Okay, let me try this one right here. All right. Now I'm just going to go upload this. Oh, I'm just going to use this one. Let's see. <laughs> just to make it easy. See if we can remove the background from this image. Oh, and it, wow. It, it did a pretty good job. Even got in between the the wires. That's that's really surprising. <laughs> All right, so then you can just click on download image. I wasn't expecting it to be that good and that quick. So if you, I mean, I don't I don't know about yourself, but I like to do a lot of um, you know, image editing and I like to remove the background. So I use a lot of AI tools for that, and some of them are better than others, but this one is quite impressive. A lot of times you, you'll have like artifacts still stuck in here and you kind of have to clean it up manually, but this one got everything. So uh, all in all, I would give it a try if you have to, you know, kind of remove the background from any kind of image that you have, you might have. And the very uh, bonus one, I want to give you a bonus AI tool that you can use that goes well with the other tools I mentioned, and that's Namelix. So once you have a logo uh, design, you might want to come up with maybe a, like a business name generator. So Let's say you don't really know what you're talking about, or you, know, you don't know exactly what what uh, business name you want to come up with. So maybe you want to come up with uh, dog walking, right? something with dog walking. You just click generate, and uh, you can select the different randomness, right? different style, different settings. I might go maybe two words, generate. All right. And here you go. You got like walk walk dot ly walk your doggy. I mean, this is very very creative. Dog pics walk on. They're very very creative. And here come di different color schemes, even mock logos. So it's definitely a cool tool to use. That definitely help you in conjunction with the other tools. So this will give you an idea of what to name your company or your brand and then also give you a mock idea for a mock logo and then from there you can use the other tools to kind of flesh out the logo and uh, create one and based on maybe 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 inspired based on uh, what, what you see here so uh, this is just a bonus I wanted to throw in there and I, I hope you found it helpful alright so I hope these uh, three tools were, were helpful and if it was could you please hit the like button I'm Vince from Digital Man Institute thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video